As we approach the ending of Attack on Titan, we realize just how long of a journey it has been. But what if it ended a lot sooner? What if Eren and Historia had touched during their military training? Let's find out what would have happened. Dude, look at that idiot. He got injured during the basic ODM training. What a loser. He will probably not contribute to anything, ever. Yeah, I bet he won't even kill a single Titan in his whole life, Locke. Dude, don't say my name. I haven't been introduced yet. Eren? Are you O? K? Marley, Ymir, Paradise, Titan Shifters, Monkey? Free? Duh? Hey, Krista, I have a weird question. Is your name by any chance Historia Rice? Uh. Oh crap, I can see the future. Alrighty then. Armin, we need to talk. Now. Later. Erwin. I know who the enemy is. Who are you? Sorry, that was a strange thing to say. Even later. So that is all I know from my future memories. Marley is our true enemy, and they sent Reiner, Bert, and Annie to get the Foundling Titan. Also, Ymir is another shifter, but I have no idea which way she swings. Yeah, I think that Ymir is gay. Thank you for your input, Mikasa, but that's not what I meant. So, what is the plan here? I am going to... Blah, <laughs> <laughs> They're titans and then I'll blah with blah. Ignore her. I have another idea. We can get them all on our side. How? How can we even do that? We talked to them. Hey, it might work. Fuck it. Let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? Granted, I may not be thinking clearly due to my massive erection from finding out humans live beyond the walls. So that's why the table is uneven. Anyway, I want the three of you to go back to training and try to convince them. Aaron will take care of Reiner and Berthold. Damn, Aaron, you threw me really hard there. It's almost like you have a personal vendetta against me or something. Yeah, weird. Why would I ever do that? Reiner, you are a very dear friend to me. Um, thank you? Also, your father was wrong about you. You are fine just the way you are. Ere. Now come on, soldier. Let's go and bring back the hometown you've lost. Come on, Berthold. We are going home. Reiner, what did you do this time? Armin will try to convince Annie. Annie! Join us, and your dad- I'm in. Mikasa, you will talk to Ymir. Please don't say anything weird. Ymir, Krista's true name is Historia, and we're devising a plan to make her the new queen. So we need your help and your titan powers. You had me at Krista. By the way, are you gay? Then, for the second part, we will need to put Historia on the throne. Later, in front of the Rod Rice residence. Um, may I help you kids? Yes, Kenny. Either the anti-personnel squad and you back off, or the entire Survey Corps and five titans and two Ackermans run a train on you guys. Well, that's not fair at all. I'm sorry. We don't give a fuck. Psst. Annie, did you know that Rod Rice wanted to make sweets illegal? Psst. Wasn't the main plan to force him to abdicate? Way to go, Annie. Yes, it was. But this was more fun. And then Historia became queen. And for the final part, so Rogako Village should be, hey, Ziki boy, who dares? Um, are you lost, little boy? Hey, it's me, your half-brother, Aaron Yeager. Or... Jaeger, or Ye Ye? I don't know how you spell it. Anyway, ain't Grisha a terrible father? Mrrr. Hmm. There seems to be a lot of daddy issues among the Titan Shifters. Hey, at least we have dads. One bonding experience later. You know, Grisha may have been your abusive dad, but I'm your abusive daddy. No, daddy, Yamate. This is still better in parenting than Grisha. Aaron, come and do the thing. Yeah, sure. You didn't have to do this, you know. What? Ymir? Do they allow anyone to inherit the Founder Titan these days? Ymir, you are free. Back, rack, rack, rack. A couple of days later, everyone, please stay calm. Yes, Paradise may have full control of the Founding Titan's powers. Colossal Titans may be patrolling the ocean as we are speaking, and I may be shitting bricks right now. But they offered a truce, which definitely does not feel like blackmail or an ultimatum that we were forced to take. What kind of kind-hearted individuals the Eldians are? And so they lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly how that would have gone down. But honestly, it's really interesting to think about that there are certain moments in the series that would have changed the outcome of everything dramatically. If Grisha didn't give Eren the Attack Titan and the Founding Titan, he would have died saving Armin. Eren would be removed from the story, and everything changes, right? If Reiner didn't convince Annie and Bert to continue with the mission, there's a good chance Aaron's mother, Carla, doesn't die. And if she doesn't die, 
Aaron doesn't have that extreme personal grudge against the Titans. He'll still want to join the scouts, but wouldn't be the same. Even the example from this uh, video, what if Aaron did touch Historia? He'd have access to those memories a lot earlier. Would that make a difference? And one of the biggest what-ifs in the story is, what if Levi gave the serum to Erwin instead of Armin? How would the leadership of Erwin affect the story going forward? What effect would Armin's death have on Aaron? It's interesting to think about that there are a few little moments throughout the series that have a butterfly effect of everything that comes afterwards. Kruger even tells Grisha that he has to finish the story he began the day he left the internment zone. You know, he left the walls, went to see the airship, and that honestly began everything. That led to Zeke's birth, Aaron's birth, and the story as we know it. If Grisha never left, Zeke's never born, Aaron's not born, and Marley probably eventually takes over paradise. We don't have somebody from outside the walls to come take the founding titan from the Rice family. And I get, it's crazy. It's, it's super interesting that there are a lot of big moments that don't seem like big moments in the story that determine the course of how we got here right before chapter 139, how everything played out. So I'm excited for chapter 139. If you guys have any other moments you can remember that changed the course of the story or you want to predict how things would have turned out, feel free to put them in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you guys taking time to watch. I'll see you next video.